What's your thoughts? I love it. Yeah? It's so very, very grand. Grand. Yeah. It's grand for breakfast. Yes. Because when we go to breakfast, it's more diner style, very chilled out. But this is like, this is a special anniversary breakfast. So I'm happy. Riley Sorola coming at you with a new food review. Today, I'm in Common Garden. And I'm going to be showcasing the Delaunay behind me on Aldwych. And later in this episode, letting you know whether to give this place a hit or a miss. Boom. So like they have obviously the the typical English. You've got like pastries. Pancakes with maple syrup. Yes. Or with bacon. Sausage sandwich. So you know you got a nice variety nice of different things. Yeah. It's a bit of sweet. Got a nice contrast between the uh, the espresso and the whipped cream. Definitely recommend it. Say, sausages. Did you just say bad boy? Yeah, it's a bad boy. Why, why are you stealing my lingo? That's what I say. That's not what you say. That's what I say. I say it all the time. That's what I say. Look, look, look. The viewers know. The viewers know because they always hear me say it in all my reviews. But bad boy. I'm saying bad boy. How is it? Mm -mm -mm. Stop exaggerating. It's delicious. It tastes so fresh. See that? Don't they look so juicy? Yummy. Wow. I'm not even exaggerating when I say this. That's the best sausages I've had in my entire life. And I'm not exaggerating. Like, they're very, very... Even before I bit it, even before I bit it, I could feel the juices. juices were the juices were oozing out. out. That's a very good Cumberland sausage. Men's bathroom. Oh, it smells very good in here. Got three urinals. Two cubicles. I like the detail of the basins. And look at look at the taps. Just look at that. Just take a look. So why did you pick this place for our anniversary? Why did I pick this place? Yeah. Take a look. It's fabulous, isn't it? Like I wanted to go to a really nice uh, breakfast place because mm -hmm. I know that there's a lot of hidden gems in London, and I don't feel like. You know, the places that do good breakfast get a lot of um, exposure. I thought, you know, look around, find a place that's really, really good. Uh, and this came up on the list. There was another one. I think this one was slightly better in terms of the choice of food, the selection, and the atmosphere. And I'm really, really happy. Between the sandwich, no, it's just more blueberry. I said it's cinnamon and blueberry compote. I can't really taste the cinnamon, it's lacking in presence. It's a bit dry. The pancake itself is light and fluffy, which is good. It's not, it's not sweet at all. Put it this way if it had syrup and everything else to go with it, mm. it would be a nice, it would be a nice blend. Pancake Isn't that syrup, baby? No, that's not syrup, is it? That is syrup. Is that syrup? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. It is. <laughs> I am such an idiot. Okay. Let's do this again. I'm an amateur. Okay, that makes a big difference. It's funny how one added ingredient can change things totally. I can't speak for dinner, but as far as breakfast is concerned, the food was mediocre. Admittedly, the Cumberland sausages, they were sensationally juicy, but all 
the other items on the on the English breakfast, they were okay, average. The the pancakes they were good. However, um, not a great contender when you consider other places where you can get pancakes. So for taste, it's gonna be a three out of five. The customer service at the Deloney was sensational. Probably one of the best uh, services I've had at a restaurant. I mean, staff were courteous. They were very professional and polite. We were welcomed at the door and uh, we were congratulated on, you know, on several occasions uh, for the occasion. So for customer service, this place gets a five out of five. Now value. We did spend £53. That does sound a bit dear for breakfast. However, to put this in perspective for you, this place is fine dining. They don't specialise in breakfast, they have a la carte menu. Excellent service, but breakfast was okay. So, for value, I'll give it a 4 out of 5. And in terms of recommendation, this is a bit of a tricky one for me because if we're just to concentrate on the breakfast, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend uh, this place. However, the overall experience and taking into the fact that, you know, they do have a la carte menu with, you know, a great option of different meals, I would recommend this place. So, yeah, it just depends on your preference. So that's the end of my review. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, comment, share, subscribe. If you want to learn more about the Deloney, their website link is in the description below. You can also find my Facebook and Instagram there. So, till next time, peace!